In this video, I'll show you how to write a blog post using ChatGPT. I'll also show you how to bypass content AI dictation tools. So you can come up with almost 100% unique content. So let's say I have a health website and I want to write a blog post on exercise. Let's say I have no idea on what to actually write about. So I'll just go over to ChatGPT and type in, give me blog post ideas for a blog around exercise. Can you now see different blog post ideas it has given to me, right? So I'm going to now tell it to write you a blog post outline for the site. So let's go with idea number seven, the role of nutrition in exercise. What to eat before and after your workout. So let's go with that one. So let me just copy it. So we're now going to tell it to write a blog outline for this particular site. I'm going to type in, write me a blog outline for site two. Then I will hit enter. So can you now see it's generating block outline for me right now. It's generating block outline for me. Introduction, explanation of the importance of nutrition in exercise, brief overview of what the blog post will cover, what it's before your workout, right? Then, you know, different sections. It's generating both for me, outline, different sections and the sub topics and all that. All of them are here. Right, and even gave me both introduction and conclusion. Can you see it here? Can you see it here? Gave me both introduction and conclusion. Now, the next thing I'm not going to do is this copy the outline and then go to your Google Docs and paste it there. So just open your Google Docs and then come here and paste it. You see this black background as if it's highlighted black, right? What you're going to do just to remove this, you just go to your notepad right and then paste it there when you paste it there you see that it will be formatted and those black backgrounds will be gone right just simply highlight it and copy it then go back to your google docs and paste it there let me just delete this one so let me delete it and then you will see it hi can you see all the black background have gone when i pasted it on my notepad so just copy it to your notepad it will format it there all those black backgrounds will be gone just copy it back and come back to your Google Docs and paste it. And all those black highlighted, you know, background will no longer be there. Right? So let's just continue. So what you're going to now do is to copy each outline. Right? And then use it as a prompt. Copy each outline it has given to you and use it as a prompt. So I'm just going to copy the first one, which is introduction. And then I'll type in, write a long blog post paragraph for the following section on exercise then i'll paste that particular section can you now see it's generating the blog post idea for me so can you now see it has given me you know the introduction the explanation for importance of nutrition in exercise brief overview of what this blog post will cover can you now see it has given it to me you can still tell it to regenerate more response for you by clicking on this regenerate response or you can simply tell it to expand it more right you can say expand it more so let me type in expand it more and then i'll click enter can you now see it has given me a longer paragraph for this particular section because i asked it to expand it more for me let me show you can you now see when i asked it to expand it more look at the long paragraph it gave me can you now see the long paragraph it gave you but look at the first one it gave me very short and small right very short paragraph look at it here when i now ask it to expand it more it's not gave me this longer paragraph can you now see it gave me this longer paragraph now what i'm going to do next you're going to now copy the next section which is what section two which is what to eat before your workout so you're just going to copy it and still do the same thing right you still use the same prompt again write a long blog post paragraph for the following section you now put that second section so let, let me copy the second section. So you still have to copy it again. So I'll still type in, write a long blog post paragraph for the following section. Then I'll hit enter. Can 
right now see it's generating a long paragraph for me because i asked it to generate a long paragraph for me can you now see it gave me the ideas it gave me the outline and then i started asking it to expand it for me to write a long blog post paragraph for the flowing section right and then i started adding the sections and then waited for it to generate it for me and as it's generating it for me i'm asking it to expand it more and when i asked it to expand it more it expanded it more and made it a longer paragraph now another way you can actually go about this is instead of you to copy the whole section and ask it to generate a long paragraph for it just simply copy each of the subtopics right and then ask it to write a long paragraph on it so for example if you look at the first section introduction the first subtopic is explanation of the importance of nutrition in exercise then the next subtopic is brief overview of what the blog post will cover so instead of you to copy the whole section as i did previously and then ask it to write a long blog post paragraph for the flowing section what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to just copy each of those subtopics one by one and then ask it to write a long blog post paragraph for that particular subtopic. So I'm just going to copy the first one, explanation for the importance of nutrition in exercise. And I will ask it to write a long blog post paragraph for it. So we'll just simply copy it, the first one. And then I will now simply ask it to write a long blog post for it. So can you now see, I asked it to write a long paragraph for and I put the first subtopic. As you can see here, it has given me a long paragraph for it. So what you can just simply do is for you to just copy this, then go over to your Google Docs and paste it there. So look at it here for explanation for the importance of nutrition in exercise. Just simply come over here and then paste it. Because remember, that's the first one we asked it to do for us. Come back again, copy the remaining go back to google docs and then paste it here you can see that we've generated the first one which is what explanation for the importance of nutrition in exercise remember this is just the introduction then you can now copy the second one you copy the second one and still do the same thing so the second one is brief overview of what the blog post will cover so you just simply come over here and put it right and then when you come to the second section which is what to eat before your workout you simply copy importance of pre-workout nutrition to copy it and then come over to chat gpt and see actually to generate a long paragraph for it just simply go back to your chat gpt and type write a long paragraph for you see put that subtopic so just simply hit enter and then wait for it to generate it for you you copy it back and go back to your google docs can you see that it's generating it for me so you just simply copy it back Go back to your Google Docs and paste it there. Can you now see? It's writing it for me, generating it for me. So this is how you keep doing for all those outlines it generated for you until you are done with it. That's if you don't want to follow the first step. There is still one more step. Remember I told you that I'm going to show you how to bypass AI content detectors, right? Because you know that a lot of people will be scared of using ChatGPT. They'll be scared that, you know, Google can detect that their content was written by AI and the, Google can actually penalize their site. So that is why a lot of people are scared of using it. So I'm going to show you how to actually bypass AI content detectors, right? So let me copy this one now, for example. Let me copy it. And then I'll go over to... A content dictation tool. This particular AI content dictator is owned by writer.com. So I'm going to paste this text here and then I will analyze this text to see if they will tell me that it's generated by AI. So let me click on analyze text. So can you see they said 10% human generated content? So meaning that is 90% AI generated content, which is not actually great, right? It's not really great. So what you're going to do with this. I'm going to copy this text and go to a particular website called quillboat.com. So what this quillboat basically does for you is that it will rewrite your content for you, right? It will rewrite it for you to generate a brand new content so that you can actually bypass the AI content detection tool. Why I love this website so much is that it can actually rewrite it for you so that they won't even detect that it's written by an AI, right? They won't detect it. So let me paste it here. So just simply paste that text here. So now another thing is that with this particular tool, you have the free version and the paid version. So with the free version, you are only allowed to put in a maximum of 125 words, right? Anytime you want to like rewrite your content, like paraphrase your content, you're only allowed to put in 125 words. So that is why you are seeing this. So let me remove this one. 
so we can still come back and, and complete it so you're going to be doing it bit by bit that's just the only disadvantage if you're not using the paid version for the free version you have the standard mode and then the fluency mode right so i'm going to select standard and then i'll click on paraphrase can you see what it has done for me so now it has paraphrased this particular text here to this if you put on it, all this red highlighted you know text it means that they have changed the word for you and you can still select it to select all that words that are similar right synonyms you can still select it to select all that synonyms that are here can you see it like for example the body can resist you can see the person can resist the system can resist like they try to give you different synonyms you can use to change it so once you just tap on that particular word you'll be able to see other synonyms you can use to change it so you can select the one you really love so much so when you go through the test you see that they have actually paraphrased the test but one thing you can do is that you can just read through it and then see if it's going well with you if it's not going well with you just try to edit it a little bit right to add your own human thought or, or your own unique perspective for example look at this place and look at the original text here nutrition is a vital component of any exercise program now look at the paraphrase text here any fitness program must include nutrition as a crucial element you didn't see how they kind of paraphrased it but if you don't like what they generated for you you can just simply click on rephrase and you'll be able to rephrase it again and then you can even select fluency mode if you select the fluency mode if you see rephrases for you right look at it here nutrition is a vital component of any exercise program they now said that yeah, nutrition is an essential component of any exercise regimen do you understand if you want to change the word regimen just click on that word you see other synonyms that are there exercise regimen fitness routine workout routine did you see that the original test called it exercise program why this particular place this one called it exercise regime and when you click on it they'll still give you other synonyms exercise program fitness routine workout routine fitness regimen can you now see they'll give you different you know synonyms when you tap on it and you'll be able to select the one you actually want so that is basically how this particular you both website actually helps you to paraphrase your content right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to copy this content it's paraphrased for me I'm, i've copied it now let me go back to that ai content dictation too and let's see if they will not tell me that is 100 percent human generated content so let me delete this particular one and then i'll paste that one that i've been paraphrased for me so let me now click on analyze text let's see what will happen if they will not tell me that is a hundred percent human generated content can you now see so when i copy this particular text here that is the paraphrase text from here right and then i went back to that you know ai content dictator and pasted it there and now analyze the text see can you now see they're telling me that is now a hundred percent human generated content can you now see so that is basically how you bypass ai content dictation tools just take it to pillboats.com when you take it to that place you will now paste it select the standard mode and then you paraphrase it right when you paraphrase it you copy the paraphrase text which is this side and then you come over to that ai content dictation tool. the one i'm using now is writer.com forward slash ai content detector just paste it there and then analyze the text so you can see that after analyzing the text they now told me that it's now a hundred percent human generated content so just simply copy the text go over to your google docs and see paste it there right so that is basically how you write your blog post using ChatGPT and also bypass AI content dictation tools. If you found this video useful, you might consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to watch the next video on how to write Facebook ads copies using ChatGPT. And if you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel. See you next time. Bye.